Hello everyone, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another Classic Who reaction. We are on to Robot Part 4. This is the final part, I'm pretty sure this is a four-parter. Uh, I'm excited, I feel like... As much as I love this story, I'm excited to see the next story. I don't know, I always feel like when you have a new Doctor there's always so much excitement about like where are we going to go what adventure are we going on and i think because pert we had such an incredible run i'm so excited to just see what happens and all of you are saying that i've got some incredible stories coming up and that makes me more excited just a reminder no spoilers nothing or you're in trouble and um let's go Just, someone needs to go in and just whack her around the head. I'll do it. Yes, Sarah. I would. I'd shoot her. Spreading the search radius wider and wider, but the bigger the area to cover, the harder it gets. It is just one piece, really, little man. Well, what's that? Something else you haven't thought of. What are we going to do with it when we find it? Yes. You know, just once I'd like to meet an alien menace that wasn't immune to bullets. <laughs> Where does these attack animals? Well, something like that. Anyway, I just wondered if we could. Oh, I'm sorry. Probably a daft idea. Wonderful, Mr. Benson. Wonderful. <laughs> yeah, I must get to Kettlewell's place at once. You find the robot. Better go with him. Right, sir. Keep an RT contact. Why do they not think that she's still in there? No one's to open fire. She may find a chance to get clear. Hey, here. Oh my gosh. Oh. <gasps> 
this quiet little village and there's just a bloody big robot walking through it. <gasps> the power lines. Oh no. I see our little problem seems to have grown. Where's Sarah? Well, she's safe enough, huh? Blast have been disintegrated down here. We left her up on the roof. Oh well. Want to solve our problem, I hope. Drive on, Harry. Right, Doctor. Drive on, Harry. Oh, the just a moment, Doctor. <sighs> Take the stand, Mr. Beckham. Go and help, Miss Smith. Right, sir. <laughs> We need more people in the world like this doctor, don't we? What's that stuff? Some of Cheverwell's metal violets in an active solution. Will it work out of things that size? Or different particle, I hope. <sighs> it's thrown the growth mechanism into reverse. Oh, well done, Doctor. Thank you, Harry. Are we going to see the TARDIS? I had to do it, you know. Yes, yes, I know. It, it was insane and it did terrible things, but at, at first we were so human. It was a wonderful creature. How about a little trip in the TARDIS? I'm just off. We, we can't just go. Why not? It's a free cosmos. The Brigadier. The Brigadier wants me to address the cabinet, have lunch at Downing Street, dinner at the palace, and write 70 reports in triplicate. Well, I won't do it. I won't. Doctor, you're, you're being childish. Well, of course I am. There's no point in being grown up if you can't be childish sometimes. Hello. Oh, what are you two up to now, eh? We're just going on a little trip. Would you like a jelly baby? <laughs> Please. What, in that old police box? Yes, as a matter of fact, in that old police box. Come along now, Doctor. We're both reasonable men. Now, we both know that police boxes don't go careering around all over. Is he going to travel with them? Oh, the whole idea is absurd. Oh, yeah. What? Okay, so is Dr. Sullivan a companion now? Or is he just like a one-off or? Huh. I, I, I wasn't, I, I don't know. I just didn't think he would have any, I just thought he'd be like another unit member. I didn't think he'd have any further relevance, but I mean, we haven't had a male companion in, since Jamie. Uh, okay, that bit when the robot was enlarged and was carrying Sarah Jane is one of my favourite moments in Classic Who so far. That's like, that's the stuff I want to see, right? You know, it looks, it does look fake and it, you, you, whatever. I loved it. That's, that's Classic Who for me. When you see those moments, I just didn't expect that to happen, so... Yeah, that's like that moment when I saw the dinosaurs for the first time, so. Not the dinosaurs for the first time in real life. Through Doctor Who. So, I don't really want to go in too high to start with, if I'm honest. And I feel like the first story from a new Doctor is always a score that I have to revisit and just check. I think 7.5 is fair. 
it could change to an eight but i need to kind of just figure i don't know was it an eight i don't know it's either 7.5 or an eight i'll decide when i write down my score but i like this doctor and jelly babies i don't even like jelly babies i like jelly beans not a, not jelly babies not that you even care right well thank you so much for joining me I really appreciate it and I will be back soon with another reaction.